Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down this iconic Nirvana song right now. And uh, if you don't mind, I'd appreciate you subscribing here to the channel if you haven't yet. And then also, if you check the links down there, I've got some great uh, guitar learning resources. And also, I appreciate that uh, extra support. All right, let's do this. All right, so the guitar is tuned a whole step down. So it's like standard tuning, but everything is down one whole step. Starts with two open E's, and then the first fret, and then the second fret. And while you're holding that second fret down, you gotta leave space for the open A string, and we go A, E, A, so. Then two times on that, one time on that, then open. Go from the top. So after you hit that open E, you go over to the second fret A string. Hit that once and then the open E twice. So from the top. Now, what we would call the pickup into the riff again hits the A string. back into that climb up. So check it out from the top. I screwed that up in my lesson from like seven years ago. I apologize if that was the case anyway. Refreshing. So eventually when you get to that, you get to this E power chord, real quick pick up E power chord. I that's what it sounds like to me. Like if you look up the tab, they say E major. But that's not what I'm hearing. I'm hearing the way Rush plays an E power chord. So it's like your index finger is playing the second fret A and D. But then your pinky, or I use my pinky, I'm grabbing that fourth fret. You kind of get a drone effect by also having that open B right next to it. So from the riff,
You hit that instead of it's. Now, if you played an E major chord and muted that G string, you're really getting that same effect and it's easier. But to me, it does feel like I'm hearing that that chord in there. There's there's a lot of effects and and you know gr grunge going on in the mix. All right, so that next section, it's like an F sharp power chord, but then you would have second fret and then fourth fret, fourth fret, but fourth fret on the G as well. So I would use my ring finger and go. And you're letting the open B and high E ring out, but playing. Great chord. And then an A major chord. And so with that um, chorus effect is what gives it some of that extra shimmery psychedelic thing. Really, the only other section we need is that heavy bridge or chorus. I'm not sure what you would call it. I guess the chorus. Um, you're gonna do a B power chord. And I changed, you know, I turned this big muff over fuzz pedal on, um, but a B power chord. So second fret, A string, four on the D, four on the G. And then a D power chord, which you can also play here. Get some of that open string. So I'm just, that's the melody. I'm not gonna say that that's exactly what he's playing on that solo, but it's right in this F sharp minor pentatonic A rooted position. So you just need the uh, nine to 11 on the D and nine to 11 on the G. And then for the, so that, that's on the G string, 9, 11, 13, but you could also bend it.
All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again for the continued support. Uh, feel free to request stuff in the comments below while you're down there. Got some great links. And then, of course, I would love it if you subscribed here to the Marty Music channel. Thank you for watching and all your continued support. Hope to see you again. Take care.